Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Ehab Halat, back again with another video. Today we got a project in the shop. It is a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, and we're gonna be doing it simple, matte black. You can't go wrong with that. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the cleaning process, the masking up of the vehicle, removing parts on the vehicle that'll make it easier to dip, and then obviously, the liquid wrap process and uh, turning it matte black. So, without further ado guys, let's not waste any time, let's get right to it. Hope you enjoy. One more thing I wanna let you guys know before we get into the shop, please, I ask for you guys to subscribe to my channel Give this video a like, a thumbs up if you like this video, and comment down below what you guys think. So, for real now, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is remove anything and everything that will make it easier for me to spray the vehicle without having to mask stuff up that can easily be removed. And also, when we spray the vehicle, we can get in and behind any objects to help the dip to wrap around edges properly so that it won't peel easily in the future. Every vehicle will be different obviously, but you want to walk around each panel of the vehicle and see what you can remove and what you can't remove. Just mask it up and spray over it and peel, depending on what the body part is. The things I removed on the Lancer are the side vents, the side marker lights, the mud guards, the hood vents, the windshield washer nozzles, the tail lights, the side mirrors, along with the covers by them. Make sure for every vehicle that you remove the rubber seals that are on top of the doors and are, that are held in by clips which you can remove. This is important or else you will get dips stuck on them and it could attach to the body of the car which will cause it to peel when you open the doors. Once that is done, the next step is to clean the vehicle. What I use is a little bit of Dawn soap and water to spray the whole vehicle down and wipe it panel by panel and then go over it again with rubbing alcohol and water mixed about 50 50. Make sure you clean all little gaps between the doors, bumpers, the hood, etc. The cleaner the surface the better the liquid wrap will lay down with no reactions. After the vehicle is all clean the next step is to mask up the vehicle which is very important. I use green tape to cover up smaller areas, tape and drape to cover up bigger areas, and the yellow 3M tape along the edges of the windows, lights, and anything, I would be peeling the tape when I lay my last coat. I do my yellow tape last, that way I can peel on the last wet coat, because if I don't, then when it dries up and I go to peel that tape, it'll all bond together and start to peel the dip off the body of the vehicle, and we definitely don't want that.
once you got it all taped up, go over the vehicle, make sure you didn't miss anything, and then give it one final wipe with rubbing alcohol. Get your spray gun ready, mix up your color, load it in the hopper, and you're ready to start spraying. Everyone has a different technique of spraying, but this is how I do it. I start off with a few light coats, and then as I build them up, I start to get heavier, but be careful not to go too heavy or stay too long in a certain area, which can cause runs, and like I said, we do not want that. You want 50-50 overlaps and a steady hand. Matte black is very simple and easy color to spray. It's most popular, so that's why I decided to show off the matte black on this Evo. Make sure you always have your mask respirator on and proper ventilation. I spray about eight to 10 coats each vehicle to ensure durability and peelability in the future. I wait about 15 to 20 minutes between each coat, depending on how hot it is. I also clean my gun with some thinner quickly after every coat to ensure no dip gets clogged and dried up in the gun because if that happens then the gun won't spray properly and you won't get a nice smooth finish.
Make sure after your very last coat to peel the yellow tape on any edges that are close to the body. Remember to peel this tape on your last coat while it is still wet. Once you have laid down all your coats and peeled the tape while wet, let the rest of the vehicle dry overnight just to be sure that everything is cured and dry to the touch. And then we can go in and start unmasking the vehicle, which is the fun part. And yes, if you haven't noticed, the driver's side wheels are red, the passenger side wheels are purple. I don't know why, it's different, it's cool though, it goes with the vehicle, so why not? After everything is assembled, I protect the whole vehicle with dip shield and if you don't know what that is, I do have a video on my channel you can check out about it. But basically it acts as a wax for the liquid wrap, it makes it slicker to the touch, gives it a bit of a shine and makes it easier to wash and clean any debris off the vehicle. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you got any questions, I'd be happy to help you. And thank you guys everyone for 1500 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much again. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.